Alright everyone, how's it going? Welcome yourselves graciously back to the Curtis Price channel. Today's video we shall be talking about a man called Mini Lad. Now I do know my last video was on Mini Lad, and so is this one. That's two videos in a row, that is. You now have permission to call me an obsessive girlfriend in the comment section. But speaking of my last video, most of you might not have seen it, so I thought it might be a good idea to give you a quick little rundown. You know, just to fill you in. Unlike Mini Lad, who tried to fill you up. So Mini Lad, YouTuber and Twitch streamer with millions of followers, decided to use his fresh breakup as a way to play on the underage. And that underage girl went by the name of Hallie. Mini Lad used his breakup, complained about how awful he was feeling, even mentioned that he was feeling suicidal. And this was a tactic that allowed Mini Lad to seep his tentacles into the mind of caring people. And Hallie did in fact release a statement, but I'll only be reading one of the key things from there. If you want to hear more details, watch my last video. I mean, I don't get paid to repeat myself. Or do I? We were joking around to where I said something about his penis being small. <laughs> I guess he took it personally, as you will see in the pictures of him in his underwear to show off his bulge of his penis, which I did not ask for at all. I want to clarify that the reason I was acting cool with it was because I had a crush on him. Remember, I was a minor, I was 16, he knew that I liked him, sent me those photos to someone he knew liked him for a boost of ego. Sent a picture of his bulge to an underage girl. Craig is the only man in this world to roll up socks, shove him down his boxer shots, just to appear larger, but then still be described as small. <laughs> nice one, short ass. Now, Harley wasn't the only girl who Mini Lad was after. There was another girl by the name of Ash. Well, I guess you could say things went a lot further. Oh, it's a lot further. I want you to say how big he is. I have a kink for people saying how big my peepee -pee is, lol. My dick rose out of my pants and clicked follow. So this man gets aroused from teenage girls telling him that his penis is big. Please crawl back inside your mother's vagina. But when all this information came out, he told Harley that if he was to be exposed, they would be risking killing hundreds of fans. Possibly killing Mini Lad too. I mean, talk about big ego. But you, Mini Lad, you just can't quite keep it in your pants, can you? But hang on a second, after all this, he released an apology video where he practically explained nothing. It was as pointless as a blind man trying to paint. However... Why is this man really sorry? I think the subreddit should remain closed until after my comeback, which is this week. The drama will get drowned out by new posts of recent videos. There's so many banned words on my channel that people really have to try and say something stupid to get through. Whenever I come back and things return to normality, it'll be pushed down even further. I'll be back making videos within the week. Yeah, yeah, of course not. With that said, why should Mini Lad be in jail? What other things has he done that I have uncovered? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So, let's get on with the video. <laughs> Now Mr. Craig Thompson, a man who is known for his positivity and goal to impact others. Perhaps his definition of positive impact was something different. This is a man who lost his way, someone who feeds off pity, kindness, and ego. In his apology video, he explained the reason he went back to Northern Ireland was to visit his family. However, you see, this was in fact a getaway plan. Craig broke the law when he sent a picture of himself to a minor, and also when he received a picture from one. So rather than having to deal with the consequences, he fled the country. He did this to avoid being caught, of course. And this man expects us to believe that he is a genuine human. Well, Craig, I think not. You may have fooled your still loyal fans, but you will never fool me. From the Texas alone is enough to make me realize that you are manipulative and you have the darkest intentions. For example, let's talk about Camp 17. <gasps> 17 being his favorite number, of course. Camp 17 is a game a summer camp Craig organized with Marcel and Brian. Basically, I do work and Terrorizer, respectively. Now, Terrorizer was also part of the group back in the day of Vanos. I'm not sure if he still is now, but he used to play with Mini Lad and Vanos and H. Tro Delirious on numerous occasions. But Camp 17 was a place where his viewers could get together and have a fun, unique experience. And yes, it was definitely unique, all right. Not so much you can fucking say. A girl who was 13 at the time of visiting this camp released a Twitter statement, which I shall get into in just a few moments. But this really did open the door for Craig and allowed him to advance on his disgusting intentions. Which is why to dive further into his intentions, we shall take a flight to HQ and discuss the true persona of this man. The dark things he's hiding and exactly the reason he should be in prison. Time for you to get on your knees, Craig, and suck big floppy cock. Bye. Okay. All right, how's it going, all right? Little bit of Welsh comedy there, but welcome to HQ, ladies and gentlemen. But don't worry, because this is indeed a safe place. Mini Lad can show you his private regions here. Me, however. Ah, <laughs> just kidding, Craig. Don't get excited. I'm not a minor. But yes, the statement from the attender at Camp 17. 
Let's take a look at it. Due to the recent allegations towards a well-known YouTuber by the name of Minilad, I have decided to make a thread on how gross this man is. In 2017, I went to a summer camp by the name of Camp 17. At this camp, there were YouTubers you can meet and that was basically why people went in the first place. I was 13 and at this time, I didn't fully understand what he was doing to me and the other girls at the camp. First, Mini or Craig would call me cute and pretty. A 22 year old man calling a 13 year old girl cute is pretty gross. Along with that, he would repeatedly talk about how all of the girls would be staring at his ass and how he would point out how big it is. This was not the case, by the way, and it made us very uncomfortable because we were minors. Firstly, that's disgusting. Now, I understand calling clothing or, or shoes uh, a nice or cute or, or whatever, but complimenting the human features of a minor. <laughs> I mean, you fell short there, didn't you, mini lad? And also, staring at his ass. That's what he would tell everyone around camp. <laughs> that girls are staring at his behind and calling it big. What? <laughs> I imagine Craig is the kind of man who sits in bed every night, tugging his little sausage, thinking of girls pegging guys' asses. I've heard some strange things, you know, but that ass comment is shit, pun intended. I bet all the girls is calling my ass big right now. Now Terrorizer, a man who used to be friends with Mini Lads. He was also at the event as well and he maturely and responsibly made a statement on Twitter. And like Craig, who ran to his bedroom and cried under his pillow like a bitch. But nevertheless, uh, this is what Terrorizer had to say. Firstly, I want to apologize for what you experienced. This event was supposed to be fun and unique experience. There's something positive for our viewers and this is unacceptable. I am sorry this happened. I want to preface that myself and Marcel arrived the day Craig left, as I'm sure you recall, so we had no idea this had happened or saw anything. I can only apologize from the bottom of my heart and thank you for bringing this to light. Now what Terrorizer's tweet tells me is that Minilad was alone by himself a couple of days before the boys arrived. But of course, no one could predict that mini lad aka Craig Thompson was in fact the boogeyman that we were warned about when we were kids. But he was alone in a camp full of miners. He was there. You may as well give Jimmy Savile his own nursery. Oh. Now he did actually respond to the Camp 17 allegation in his apology video. As it is called an apology video, you expect him to apologize or maybe clear the air a little bit. And that is my full intentions of this man and that's what he will do. Well, perhaps not. The person has come out, has talked about a camp that I did called Camp 17, where it was myself and two other YouTubers where we had a summer camp where for a few days we got to hang out with some fans. This is a summer camp where I was only around people for maybe about an hour a day. I was staying off campus at a different hotel and everything was securely monitored. Okay, maybe everyone was monitored. But you still have a fetish for young girls calling your penis big, don't you, Craig? And as mentioned in the Camp 17 statement, you were going around telling people that girls were calling your ass big. <laughs> hmm, and you being exposed would ruin lives. Well, you see, Craig, uh, I think that your eagle is um very big. <laughs> I was at that. You get a proper stiffy end, didn't you? Eh? What I understand, everyone, is Craig likes it when people call his stuff big. Or maybe I'm just, you know, misreading it here or something. Anyway, for the next bit, I'd like to head to Common Sense Cretin, where we use a lot of common sense and discuss cretins. And you are, see? Huh? Common sense, huh? What I tell you? So, uh... Let's head over there, after one pointless clap. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to Commsense Cretin, a beautiful place where we discuss a marvellous word known as common sense. Now today we do in fact have Craig Thompson sitting down on the benches, aka Mini Lad, he's about to be taken down, oh my god, holy shit! However everyone, I actually want to discuss something that Craig said. And if we're going off his apology, he didn't fucking say much. But if he did say anything that would lack common sense, it was in fact this. Once people realize that the majority don't care, don't know, and brands keep working with me, it'll die faster. Brands will keep working with you and it will die faster. Now Craig the- Craig? <laughs> no Craig? No Craig! There is such a wonderful thing known as common sense. Which of course is something that Minila does not actually possess. And don't get me bloody started now on the level of his IQ. It's fucking terrible. Now the first point to this is, Craig, you have the complete wrong intentions when it comes to actually apologising. And number two, what brand would ever want to associate themselves with a paedophile? <laughs> Duh. Wow! And I never would have thought. 
Common sense. For a second there, I thought Craig reached his arm through his screen and grabbed me by the throat, but I realised that's what happens when you have an addiction to auto asphyxiating. If you don't know what that is, let's just say your cock isn't the only thing you're choking. However, Craig, besides all the common sense, I believe you. This this will die down, you know. I I, I think brands will continue to work with you. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, I just realised someone reached out to your brand, Craig. Y you might not be okay after all. Someone did actually reach out to Craig's sponsor, and he had to remove the video with the sponsor in. This is what the sponsor had to say. Hey, I just wanted to inform your company that you are sponsoring a paedophile at Minilad. Whoa, they even added him there. I like the ferocity. I was wondering why you would pay someone who had been a confirmed paedophile and he even admitted to it. Thank you and take care. Hey there, we appreciate you for reaching out to us about this and providing your feedback. We take matters as such very seriously and have escalated the situation for further investigation. It confirms that we are no longer working with the influencer and the video was removed on Tuesday 29th of September. September. Please reach out if there are anything else we can do for you at this time. Well, as Common Sense once spoke, people take paedophiles very seriously, including companies that associate themselves with them. That's what usually tends to happen, you know, you know, the drama doesn't die, you know. If you're a paedophile, well, you are very much a paedophile. I guess you could say that you drew the short straw, Craig. They did care after all. It's very simple. You must just step forward and let the police dress you in handcuffs. I think you'd look real pretty then. Now I'm gonna talk about the many reasons why Craig should be in jail. But first, Anissa has made a TikTok. Now I'm not gonna look at it in this video. However, if you do want me to look at it, let me know in the comment section. And I'll also cover the stuff that Anissa has been saying to Chris Hansen on Twitter. But Craig, why should he be in prison? Well, first of all, take a look at these dirty, filthy messages that he sent to a 17-year-old girl. Haha, <laughs> the way you quickly delete your messages. You prove me wrong. True story. Out of the people I've had sex with, I've been the biggest they've ever had. Hands down emoji. The more you know. Great. As you can tell everyone, Craig really is about the memes. The more you know. It's as if common sense has just leaked into his brain for a split second and then he lost everything. He lost the will to live and he said that girls say his penis is the biggest they've ever had. Imagine saying that to a 17 year old girl. That my friend is trading dirty messages with a minor. That's not good. That's bad. So she telling girls how big your penis is. I mean, that's just ridiculous now. Come on. And then with Ash, you traded images with them. Uh, you, you sent a picture of yourself and she sent one back. That is against the law, my friend. <laughs> common sense. It's a great thing when you put it to use, you know. It's common sense to lock the door when you leave the house. It's common sense to pull your zipper up after you've gone for a piss. And it's also common sense not to send pictures of your cock to underage girls. Majesty of the Queen, get Craig out of this country. Get him out of here because he's disgusting, he smells, and I can't fucking live in the same country as this bloke anymore. So yes, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this will be concluding today's video. Um, we've learnt that Craig is a nonce. See, we, we, we simplify things over here. It's common sense. That's it. There's, there's no more to it. What do you want from me? However, before the video does end, don't click off, don't click off. Please comment down below and tell me what you want to see in my next video. Give me ideas. Just spread them all. Just spread yourself all over the comment section. Yeah. And also like the video and follow my Twitter and Instagram because they're dying and I really need help over there. Uh, and it's pretty sad, I can't lie, I'm, I'm depressed. So yeah, without further ado, see you all in my next video, kings and queens. Craig, peace the mati. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.